there, welcome back to my channel. It is Christy here for the weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Capricorn, if you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, there's a link in the description box where you can learn your whole birth chart, and that way if you need additional information for the week, you can always check out your Moon and Rising sign readings on top of your Sun sign reading today. This is for the week of July 4th to the 11th. I'll be using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck for the three card spread today, and then drawing the bottom of the deck card for general energy for the week. And then as always, we'll draw additional message cards from each of the Healing with the Angels to row and the Medicine card to row. So if you've been watching for the past couple of months, you'll notice that I've been asking while I shuffle, what are general messages for your sign? And I contemplated this a little and found that I... You and I, so my viewer and me as the mediator here, might have a better chance at learning what it is that would assist you best if I switch the question up a little. So today I'll be asking, what does your sign need to know? Just because it might add a bit more specificity around anything that, you're pro that you may not be aware of, for example, Whereas what are general messages could be doubling up on things you already know, but you could be left saying, well, now what? <laughs> so I'm going to try asking this question. Uh, it still is a general reading. So even though I'm asking, what does your sign need to know? I'll get you to um, apply these messages concerning whatever is most prominent in your life this week, Capricorn. Um, so... Let us begin, and um, once I begin shuffling, I'll start asking the question. Um, just prior to that, I'll say a little prayer as always. So I wish for Capricorn all success, joy, and wellness. I call upon Archangels Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, and Uriel to guide this reading in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. And I ask that Gaia bless this reading for Capricorn. So let's see where this question takes us today, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What do my Capricorn viewers need to know that they may or may not be already aware of? What does Capricorn need to know? All right, so we have two jumpers. I will take them. Wow, okay, so immediately already what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, is that you are incredibly supported. So again, in a general sense, whatever is most prominent in your life this week. Wow, okay. <laughs> you may not have even felt this kind of love or support uh, for a very long time. I don't even want to say forever, <laughs> but it might even feel like forever. Um, this is a gargantuan amount of support. Perhaps you're even going through something, and, and, and I hate to think that's why you're getting this level of care. Okay, wow. And support and camaraderie, friendship, family, loyalty, Support it with a capital S, okay, in every sense of the word. Um, if this is about health, finance, resources, friendship, um, ideas, inspiration, um, even lost objects, I, I would put everything in that, in that, under that umbrella this week, Capricorn, and I would say that no matter what that general issue is for you, you are feeling so incredibly loved. And like I said, sometimes <clears throat> in order to even feel this type of energy, we have to be going through something difficult in the first place. I truly hope that isn't what's going on. But regardless, if it is this week, it's still a lovely outcome, okay? Even if you are going through something trying, the outcome will be incredibly supportive and, and uh, loyal and loving. So the main three cards in the spread this week, Capricorn, are Loyal Heart, Soulmates, and the card Yin. There's a lot of receptive energy this week, and I think maybe 
what's happening is this has been in your life or around you your whole life, um, but you've been, I'm not going to say, you know, like consciously pushing against it. Uh, but for one reason or another, this may be the first time in a long time that you are consciously in receipt of it. You are, you're very aware that you're not the projector. This week, you may not be helping someone else out this week. Someone may be helping you. Okay, so let's look at those cards in detail in just a moment. The bottom of the deck energy card for the week is a leg up. This describes the energy for the whole week for you, Capricorn, and this simply means that anything that you've ever given, any, I, in this regard this week, I would say that it's it's acting karmically. Anything that you've ever given or provided uh, freely and lovingly is being sourced back to you without question, without debate. <laughs> Just everything you've ever needed at the right time this week is going to occur for you. So if you're finding that difficult to believe right now, trust that that will happen for you. Trust that this is available for you. Um, and that someone's very, very, very happy to do that for you as you have been happy to do that for them in the past. Okay, so in the central position, this could even be between you and someone like your sweetheart. There's so many characters here. There's five different characters here. So I feel as well that there could be a lot of different actors. And just by that, I just mean like individual personalities going on. If this is work or family or travel or whatever the general situation is, I think that there are a lot of different personalities this week. Uh, however, the one that maybe the most significant to you this week is either a partner or a loved one that you have in your life. Um, or that you want in your life. So with the loyal heart here, we can see, obviously, with the two of barn owls, there's just an enormous amount of psychic energy. It's healing energy. We're looking at ascension coloring here. We're looking at heart coloring here. Of course, there's actual literal shapes of hearts. This is very important in terms of the vibration of a shape. Everything has a vibration, color, numbers, words, <laughs> shapes, all of it. So um, this is just really heavy, loving, and I mean heavy in the best way, like heavy like a heavy blanket. Um, oh, I'm just so happy for you right now because... You might even be, you might even feel like on top of the world, even if, even if something's been a struggle. Uh, if nothing has been a struggle, fabulous. Um, it'll just be like on top of the world with you and that special someone. Uh, if it has been a struggle, this will be your, um, it's like a moment of truth, right? It's, it's like a moment of realization, like, wow, I really have everything I've ever wanted and could ever dream of, and it's kind of better, better now, or it's better than I gave it credit for, better than I, I'm looking at, I think maybe part of it could be uh, perception or perspective as well. So you're giving it a different value than it did before. It's more important to you now, um, but it's happening to the both of you. So this is an equal situation, which is everyone wants that. Um, and just quickly, we'll look at, so the owls themselves are in a bit of a shape of the heart. Owls, universal symbol for knowledge, truth, wisdom, psychic energy, cycles, and anything having to do with women. And of course, the crowns of royalty on their heads. So you're feeling like a certain kind of royalty this week. Um, I wouldn't take it for granted, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't look look it and look the gift horse in the mouth, so to speak. I would just run with it and let it be this beautiful thing. And like I said, with the with the yin over here, with the receptivity energy over here, I think for the first time in a very long time, and if that's the case, congratulations, I think you're just able to let it be. You don't have to give back. You don't have to do something for somebody else right now. You don't have to say the right thing or be what somebody needs you to be. You can, they're coming to you and they're giving to you and you're receiving. So it's a beautiful partnership right now. Uh, in those relationships, those kinds of relationships. The soulmate, pretty self-explanatory, but we can see some of the major imagery, of course, are the penguins who we know mate for life. So this could very well have to do with a long-term partner for you 
course, the hearts are everywhere in this. And there are two really interesting uh, um, symbols in the cards. Of course, we have the key and then the keyhole. This is, this is as literal as saying someone has the key to your heart and you're going to let them close to you. It looks like you can't kind of have been through something difficult together here if that's the case you're going to pull out um probably it's just through the power of love and appreciation and 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 realizing that sometimes it's almost like people have everything or they didn't realize they had everything until right it's too late isn't that isn't that the way right you don't know what you got till it's gone type thing and i think whether you've been shocked into this or forced into this, or this is just a moment of awakening for you in, an, in a non-confrontational or non-crisis um, uh, point in your life, you, your perception and ability to receive love are definitely growing here. There's a great deal of expansion here. So this is lovely. And uh, just to close up this part of the reading, we have the yin card. As you can see, it's all pink. Pink is it's a feminine color, um, but it also has to do with the red and the white. So these colors, very strict colors when blended together, make this beautiful, um, welcoming, um, unassuming kind of atmosphere and you can also see here with the overflowing sort of bird bath so it means that whatever is coming into your you're getting so much that you can actually give back you're getting so much that it's it's going to maybe even if there's imagine for the moment being if there's plants down here everything will be touched by it um the whole point of course is sentient colors with the purple over here the whole point capricorn in case it's slipped you is to just let it be just enjoy this. If, if this is a moment of glory and awakening and relative joy in your life, even, even if there has been hardship, um, I would enjoy it and take it in and let it be. Someday you will be able to give back and even more importantly, no one's counting right now. So really just be who you need to be with this special someone. Okay, with the friendship card. Now this is interesting because the friendship card uh, on its face kind of looks like it's just a bunch of people parting, well, angels parting together. But the authors actually write that a friendship could be changing or um, shifting. So a close friendship of yours, I don't necessarily see it as the partnership, but as we all know, sometimes people marry their best friends. So there could be a definitive shift in that friendship or a friendship or a series of them where something changes. Now, this could simply be the shift in perception, and that's what it's talking about here. However, this could be outside of the general reading, and it could be about a friend um, who is changing his or her mind, or you're changing your mind about them. Either way, there's a shift in a friendship here. Um, shifts in friendships aren't always necessarily bad either. Sometimes we outgrow people or they outgrow us and no one's worse off for it. So it doesn't have to be a negative thing. Okay, here Capricorn. And then your final card for the reading is the Mountain Lion. Its keyword is leadership. Not overly surprised to see this Capricorn just because by nature you are you are a go-getter. You like to handle things. You like to be in charge because you feel responsible. It's almost like you've been born with a responsible gene. So you're actually okay in this position. I think that generally speaking, unlike a Leo, for example, you don't even, it's not that you don't need the accolade. You don't even like the accolade. You don't want people to go on and on and on about it. You just want to move on to the next <laughs> phase or the next project. Um, and this might be an element of being able to Consider yourself a leader in this regard. Like maybe it's a positive thing that you not only were able to act as a leader in this situation, and it could be so whether it's the friendship or the actual relationship or love affair, it could be that you are the one who is able to take charge and forge ahead in this direction. And maybe someone else was waiting on you to give the right the green light, etc. Um, maybe someone was relying on you 
or they gave so much and they were like, okay, you got to meet me in the middle type thing. And then you took charge and led the way to these glorious, just incredibly loving and supportive uh, conditions for yourself. So just beautiful to see this Capricorn. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you have a minute, please let me know how this works out for you. I'm just so curious how this pans out for all my Capricorn viewers. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that today. I upload videos for your zodiac sign every week. And until we meet next time, take care of yourself and bye for now.